The time is exactly 1.30 on the clock. A very good afternoon to you in the city of Ibadan. It's a wet Thursday indeed. My name is M Spice. You're welcome to the Lunch Hour Show on Fresh 105.9 FM. Hope you've had an amazing day. You know I will always ask how your day has been because I'm concerned about you. And of course, I'd love to know what's going on with you every blessed day of the week. Now, you know this is the final edition of the Lunch Hour Show for the week, but we're going to promise... I promise that it's going to be as packed as possible. Lots and lots of gist. We all woke up. If you're social media active, then I'm sure you know that we all woke up to a lot of Twitter rant today. Twitter and Instagram rant, but we're going to be talking about that when I come back. You know how we run the show. We've got games on the lunch hour show, different games. We've got on Scramble. We've got Fix It. We've got Place It. We've got Countdown. We've got the menu game. We've got the question game. I want somebody to call me up and play the question game. I haven't played the question game in a while. We have the word game. We have Rhyme A Lot. The, the, the list of games is absolutely endless. I've got the games. All you have to do is call me up on the phone lines. The numbers to call 80 3232-1059 or 080-9222-1059. I've also got 080-7777-1059. Now, the month today is the 28th day of April. The month is fast drawing to a close and we know that Monday is a public holiday, so who's excited? I mean, your Thursday is my Friday, so technically my holiday starts from today. But your holiday on Monday will be a working day for me. So I'm sure to keep you company through the holiday. Here's what I want to know, though. I have a question of the day, but I'm going to play a musical break. I'm going to go to the music. When I come back, I'm going to tell you all about the question of the day. And I'm sure to give you full gist. Don't forget, you can jump in on the conversation on social media. On Twitter, we are at FreshFMEBadon. On Facebook, we are at Fresh FM Ibadan. But in classic petty style, to start off the show, I'm going to give you a very familiar song. This one comes from Don Babaji. And of course, it features Tiwa Savage. You know it all too well. It's called Iminado. Iminado, Iminado. What do you want from the bank? I just say come from the bank And I got money to throw it, throw it. So everybody, oh yeah, oh it, oh it Rockin' the body, rockin' the body Rockin' the body for me Keep rockin' the body, rockin' the body for me Here I go, oh here I go
137 on the clock. Yes, welcome back to the show. This is the Lunch Hour Show on Fresh 105.9 FM with your girl, M Spice. That song leaves you wondering if Don Jazzy was actually speaking Yoruba. Oops, did I say something wrong? Well, there's been a lot of gist going around today. And of course, fire, fire on the mountain for T-Bills and Tiwa Savage. But we're going to talk about it much later. Right now, it seems like they're trying to put out a fire that T-Bills started this morning. But you know what? The thing about social media, once you set the ball in motion, it just continues to roll and roll and roll and it doesn't stop. But before we get into all that gist, I have a question of the day for you. My question of the day for you is very, very simple. And I want you guys to be as objective as possible, be as sincere as you can possibly be. When you hear the statement, a man should spend 80% of his income on his wife, do you agree or disagree? That's what I want to know. Should he, a man out there who's working hard, we don't know what his income is, but if you call this woman your second half, your partner for life, a man should spend 80% of his income on his wife. Do you think that is a correct statement or not? I'm going to go straight to the phone lines right now and see who I have first. Hello? Hi, Faith. Hi, Faith. Faith, I have to ring my bell. Faith, you're always on time. Hi, Faith. How are you today? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. The weather is cool. Yes, very cool weather indeed. Tell me, Faith, what do you think? A man should spend 80% of his income on his wife. Is that accurate or not? Uh, actually, for me, I think it's right. So I far, need you to speak up a bit. Yeah, I think it's right. So far, she's going to give me the details of what is she's <laughs> going to use the money for. Okay, she's going to write a list? Um, not really. I'm going to see it. What she's going to use though. Okay. All right, that works for me. That works perfectly for me. Faith from Oyo, you're, you're my first caller today. Very quickly, we're going to move so we can take as many calls as we can today. What right, game so would you like to let, play? Let me try the question again. <laughs> Please let me clear my truth. <laughs> <laughs> I had to clear my throat for that one. The question game, do you have what it takes? Your your responses must be very swift and spontaneous. You must not repeat the question. For the purpose of everybody who's listening for the first time, the question game is simple. Every question I ask you, you must respond with a question. Do not repeat your question, okay? All right. All right, Faith. What in be today's date? You said? What in be today's date? You don't know if I get calendar for you. I know that so you get calendar. What in be your name? Why you want to know my name? Rain they fall for your side. Is there a must for you to know if rain they fall here? Uh -uh. Is there a must now? I want to come to your side. I want to come to your today. Is your girlfriend fine? That's a good friend. Ah, you don't need to tell me now. I feel one apply. Faith, are you a learner? Why you want to know? Uh -uh. I feel one teach you something new today. Today is Thursday. What did they do tomorrow? That's why you say they do anything here. <laughs> My faith, darling, is getting better and better at this game. What? What's your job this afternoon? You won't give me food. I feel won't give you food now. I feel you won't come with me. Ah, who's asking the questions now? Who's becoming pro at this game? I'm impressed, but I'm going to keep going. How many picking your mama born? You, you want to add, add your own to us. I feel want add my own joy now. We plenty for my father's house. We get many picking. You get plenty money for bank. You won't borrow money from me. Oh, you just they ask you want, you want, you want, you want. I feel one borrow money from your hand. Fed from my final question to you. Are you a winner on my show today? <laughs> it's to you now. <laughs> All right, Faith, that was a very good run indeed at the question game. I have to give that one to you. Absolutely amazing from you today. Okay. Please quickly okay. give me the last three digits of your phone number. Yeah, 350. 350. Thank you so much, Faith from Oil. Always a pleasure having right, you on the show. Enjoy your afternoon, okay? And make sure you try to call back. Yes, if you're someone out there, I sent out quite a number of recharge cards yesterday. If you did not get a recharge card and you won on the show, do give me a call, especially my new callers. Some of the numbers got mixed up here and there, but give me a call and, of course, try out the games today. We're going to get all the numbers on lockdown and see how we can send everybody home with something to smile about. I'm going to go back to the phone line straight away. It's your girl, M. Spice. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. What's your name? Where are you calling us from? 
Ola from Liberia. Hi, Ola. Are you a first-time caller? No. All right, Ola. Tell me, a man should spend 80% of his income on his wife. Do you agree or disagree? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard, Shabo. I think when there's trust between the, both of them, they can... At least whatever the man has is for the wife and whatever the wife has is for the... And husband. You know, technically, this means that when he builds his house, he, he, he signs it over in her name. When he gets his first jeep, <laughs> he puts it in her name, technically. No, and all his no, ties. No, As not, he's signing it off one. to church, her name is on that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, no, so no, sure. do you agree yeah. or disagree? Um, I agree. You agree. Nice one. Big shout out to you, Ola. Thank you so much. Ola, what game do you want to play this afternoon? The question game too. The question game. Well, are you sure you've gotten what it takes? Yes. Make sure you I don't try. don't repeat any of your questions, okay? And you must be as spontaneous as possible. Okay. All right. What's your job this afternoon? Rainfall for your side today. Ah, rainfall for my side. Well, uh, rainfall. Well, uh, here or the rain wanna beat me small. How many picking your mama born? Now, why are you wake today now? <laughs> nice one. My brother has come the turn interviewer. Which school you go? Where Fab day? I never hear your voice. Fab don't travel, go camp now. Today in orientation camp day. Who they ask questions? Who they answer? Are you Elena? <laughs> Hello? Hola? Hello? Eh? Who, they, who they ask oh, questions? Who they answer? Uh, no, me, you they ask questions. Ah, now me they ask the question, but you can't be like, say you want to turn them around. Your girlfriend or fine girl? Oh, uh, say Nigerians they answer question with question. Oh, now so now now wait. That's not the purpose of the question game. You like Abula? I'm allowed with where granny where do? Now we take chop this afternoon. <laughs> now the food where they hungry me to chop this afternoon. You go buy and come for me today. Now which school you go, Steph? Now which school I go? We go talk that one later. You then I your neighbor wife. You need money. I get money. Oh. You need them. <laughs> you guys are getting better and better at this game. OMG. <laughs> Ola, Ola, that was an amazing run. Uh -uh. You guys are getting better and better at this game. Thank you. I've been preparing for this since my last week. <laughs> I love the way you played it because you kept throwing me off with totally different, totally, totally different questions. So that was really, really nice. Ola, Thank you. Please give me the last three digits of your number very quickly. Yes, four zero six. All right, just stay on the line for thirty seconds. I'll take down your number. Hello. All right, it looks like I have your number. Thank you so much, Ola. Enjoy your afternoon, okay? Thank you. And thank you for playing so well. Yeah. Yes, I'm going to go back to the phone lines right now, see who else I've got on the line. Remember, this is the Lunch Hour Show with your host, M Spice. That's M-S-P-Y-C-E. You can check me out on social media platforms. It's M-S-P-Y-C-E. Right now, I've got games just for you. And I want to play as many games as you can play before I go to pay some commercial bills. Hello? Hello. Hello good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. What's your name and where are you calling us from? This is Titi Laya from Asha Lane. Hi, Titi Laya. Are you a first-time caller? Yes, I'm a first-time caller. Yay. Thank you. Titi Laya, you're yeah, welcome to the Lodge Show with them spies. I'm yes, excited. I'm the last, yeah, today. <laughs> yes, because I have a female last boy. Oh, I've always wanted yeah. a girl. Oh, Jesus, I <laughs> thank you. Bye thank you. Now. Thank you. I enjoy your program. Really enjoy it. Oh, thank you so much, Ma. You're highly welcome. You are Where's the reason. Fab? Where's Fab? You put Fab. Well, Fab has gone to orientation camp. He has actually okay. gone to orientation camp. So make sure you say a prayer for my Fab because they sent him far away. But uh, in I... his own words, he sent a message to us yesterday saying the Yoruba demon has arrived in the north. I'm not going to disclose his whereabouts, but Fab is all the way in the north right now. But we love uh, okay. <laughs> we love women and we're praying for him, okay? Titi uh, Lai, tell me something. Yes. A man should spend 80% of his income on his wife. Do you agree or disagree? I agree because I'm going with our faith that first your first cause that I'm going with him. That since the, the man is going to see what the woman is using the money for. 
So they are both going to use this at home. So I go with it. Oh. I have it. That is an interesting one because if that man is acquiring assets, it means most of his assets are going to be in her name, which is not an entirely bad thing considering that she's also popping babies in his name. Let's not go, dear, my darling sister. Tell me what game would you like to play this afternoon? Any game you want, the last one. Okay, as my last one, I'm going to give you the game Fix It. Fix It is a good game, it's an easy game. It's a game where any word I give you, within five seconds, you have to tell me how many vowels and how many consonants are present in one word. Are you ready? Hello, Titilayo. It looks like I lost Titilayo. Do try to call me back. I'd love to hear from you. If you can reach me, let me hit the phone lines again. Hello. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. What's your name and where are you calling us from? My name is Oluwatobi. I'm calling from Malibu, Nevada. Oluwatobi, are you a first-time caller on the show? No ma, no ma. All right, Olua Toby, talk to me this afternoon. A man should spend 80% of his income on his wife. Can you do it? Uh, actually, it's to me. It should be. I can't. Okay. What would be... And you don't feel that 20% is too small for the for the mistresses out there? No, no ma. No, no, no. Not at all. <laughs> all right. Hmm. So, what's the most expensive thing you feel that you could buy for your wife? What's the most expensive thing? <laughs> That's okay. a funny question. Damn question. I'm really <laughs> Okay, it's me that I know. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, talk to me. What game would you like to play this afternoon? Uh, give me the the simple game. A very simple game. All right, the game I'm going to give you is Countdown. Do you have a pen and paper with you? Countdown, countdown, countdown. Okay. All right, immediately I call out this word. You need to spell it backwards from the back. Immediately I call the word. Please just start spelling it back to back for me. Can you do that? Okay. All right, your word is Apprenticeship. Apprenticeship. Are you there? I can't hear you. My darling brother, what's going on? What's going on? It just seems like the network is affecting my phone lines, but I'm going to go to the next caller and see if I can take one more before I go back to the music. Don't forget the numbers to call 080-322-1059-080-922-1059-080-7777-1059. Up on social media. I have a comment on my question of the day. Akon B. Olawale says, I strongly disagree that a man should spend 80% of his income on his wife. But you did not tell me the reason. And of course, Lord Pretty Flacco J just gave me an LOL at my song, Eminado. Right now, I'm going to play some music. When I come back, we're going to take more questions. Don't forget, it's your favorite show in the afternoon on Fresh 105.9 FM. It's the Lunch Hour Show with M. Spice. It's legendary.
105.9 FM. Your feel good radio is just a dial away. Fresh radio like never before. Bembe Oruzara Vadine, Oto Tide. Fresh FM 105.9. Nani Oki. Don't bend it, Alenti. Leoni. Only a cool Amoju. Baosura Madana. Emmy was a cool Lana. That is so nipa walk on your car way to wa ni fresh FM 105.9 ni no show Ramadan and your juicy alaga be my Ramadan or Dari to Bubo Ton Jadi ni fresh FM if they only music house challenge badon tabi cake piece number ye zero eight zero Two three two five five one zero nine at zero seven zero one five nine four five one one five. Ila le aman, inshallah. Mind Your Language. Mind Your Language is a program that teaches good English in a bilingual manner between 3.15 and 4 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays on Fresh 105.9 FM. Mind Your Language with Ade Dotton Tunde Adeniyi. Let us put an end to speaking bad English so as not to be inferior to the good speakers of the language. So it do you to do la ujo ni to ton koni batin so it do you bo ta fini so e bo buma tori wipe a ile so yin bo to dara a ma doju tin la ujo a si ma pa iro mo ni ninu lati so jade tori na e ma tetisi eto yi yo ma waye lori kan ni fresh fm 105.9 ile oni challenge ibadan ni gbogbo ojo isegun tuesdays ati ojo bo thursdays ago meta koja iseju me dogun si ago merin role ade dot tun di ade ni yi la toku eto e ku oju lona o Arik Air now connects you to even more places in Africa with three weekly flights from Lagos and Port Harcourt to Libreville. Departure from Lagos and Port Harcourt are on Tuesdays, Fridays and Sundays. Departure from Libreville are Wednesdays, Saturdays and Mondays. Flight commences February 12th and you can buy your tickets on www.aricair.com. Any Arik Airport or city ticket offices nationwide or visit your travel agent. Arik Air. West and Central Africa's leading airline. Fresh radio like never before.
Fresh 105.9 FM, invigorating. Legendary beats. Tremble. Tell me what's your flavor, baby. Oh, uh, I got the necessary things that you want. So let me do you a favor, baby. Oh, uh, you got to kill it up right now. No long. So that's how you are, Baba. And I got some new shit that's your favorite flavor, baby. Baba, Baba. And I got some new shit that's your favorite flavor, baby. Hey, I go be my. Come take the cheese from the be my. Been on the beat for me now. I know it's time since I done the beat. Now my money, oh, what could you be? I go just to give you. Make I tell you how your money's gonna be. Cause heavy hot dogs, two bald eggs, and a cup of tea. If you know what I'm not your cup of tea. I oh, know what you call want me to but try. You just watch and see. Again, now you are one day watch and see. I want to touch and see, touch and see, touch and see, touch and see. Love and see. What makes you want on my kids? We give on my brush, no brush and see, brush and see, brush and see. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Get me an opiate card, oh, wow. No go play you like Shagano. She gets sex appeal, and I'ma make sure I eat it till it feels like a tan. Tell me what's your flavor, baby. I got the necessary things that you want. So let me do you a favor, baby. Oh, uh, you got to kill it up right now. No long to us. I do a baba. And I'm because I know say that's your favorite flavor, baby. Baba. And I'm because I know say that's your favorite flavor, baby. Let me wash your flavor, baby. Oh, uh, I got the necessary things that you want. So let me do you a favor, baby. Oh, uh, you got to kill it up right now. No long to us. I do a baba. And I'm because I know say that's your favorite flavor, baby. Cause I know say that's your favorite flavor, baby. Baby, 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 kilowa. Make a order, you shower, ma. And I know they talk when I they talk. My mama teach me table manners. I know we say I they woman nice. I just realize I'm a fan if your woman nice. I'm the man that your woman likes. And the picture with me can get her a million likes on Instagram. And I want you to show me what's it gonna be like for the inside out. Oh, girl, you don't ride, boo. And it tastes like mango. Pop up pineapple, orange and apple. Yes, I'm bad like that, too. And I know you know that, too. I wanna give you rights now. And I want you to show me what's it gonna be like for the inside. Um, ooh, heaven and earth. Tell me what's your flavor, baby. Oh, uh, I got the necessary things that you want. So let me do you a favor, baby. Oh, uh, you got to kill it up right now. No long to us. I do a baba. 
Because I know say that's your favorite flavor, baby. Ba 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 na na. Because I know say that's your favorite flavor, baby. Let me watch your flavor, baby. Oh ah, I got the necessary things that you want. So let me do you a favor, baby. Oh ah, you can't take this up right now, no long time. Where I said you ba ba na na. Because I know say that's your favorite flavor, baby. Ba 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 na na. Because I know say that's your favorite flavor, baby. Legendary on the beat. Hey, 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 hey,
This is your number one award-winning station in the Southwest. Yes, this is Fresh 105.9 FM. My name is M Spice. Welcome back to the Lunch Hour Show on Fresh FM. I hope you're having an amazing Thursday. Before I go forward, a couple of you are aware that I had one or two issues um, when I said my car had been kidnapped on Monday. Now, this is a moment I just have to take because I know what I went through to get my vehicle back. But I must, I must, I must appreciate the Oyo State Government because they were kind to me. You know, I kind of met the nicer side of the law. <laughs> I met the nicer side of the law. I could not have gotten my vehicle back without the assistance of three special people. And I must give recognition to them. Honorable Yomi Lainka ah, is a big uncle. Big shout out to you. You know, he just reached all out and gave all he could. He, for me, is a good example of what our leaders should be because he saw someone in need and he did everything he could to help. So from our Diola, Honorable Yomi Lainka, I'm so grateful. And of course, we have Honorable Akionye Dele. Not forgetting my big auntie, big sister. Big shout out to you, Mrs. Fumi Tanimo. La, ah, she was wonderful. She was so kind, supporting me through the whole thing. But above everything, big shout out to the Oyo State Government. I have my vehicle back. Oh, it feels amazing. Have I told you how hot the sun was yesterday? If you've been driving and you suddenly don't have your car, ah, you go praise God. You know, say something is happening. So thank you so much, guys. And of course, I give a shout out to all my in-house peeps. You all are amazing. You mean the world to me. Yes, if you're just joining us, we have a question of the day today. Our question of the day is, a man should spend 80% of his income on his wife. Do you agree or disagree? That's what I want. I want an honest answer. I want great responses. You can join in on the conversation. You can tell us what you think, your opinion, because we always stand to learn something new. You can call us up on 80 3232 And tell me, what do you think? Should a man spend 80% of his income on his wife? Is it wise? Is it not wise? You know, what do you think? I have a couple of um, comments on Twitter. I'm going to take those ones very quickly. On Facebook, I'm coming to you. From Fabulous uh, fabulous Lamba, he says, um, Good day, sweet M Spice. I can never spend 50% of my dough on my bay. Not to talk of 80%. Uh-uh. <laughs> he says, Kole work, Kole work. <laughs> <laughs> like Kole Work, W-E-R-K. He goes on to say, Though I can buy her a lot of goodies, but I will never spend beyond 5%. I presume he was trying to write 50%. Yes, I've had a couple of people call to say they agree. Some people say they disagree. But what's your take on the issue? Do you think a man should spend 80% of his income on his wife or not? Let's hit the phone lines. Hello? Hello. Good afternoon. What's your name? Where are you calling us from? Good afternoon. This is Titi Layo. I'm calling back. Hi, Titi Layo. I'm so glad you were able to get through. So, you already gave me your opinion. You agreed with Faith from Oyo. Hmm? Yes. All right. So, I have a game for you. The game I was going to give you is Fix It. Are you ready for my game now? I'm ready. All right. You just need a pen and a paper. Within five seconds, I need you to tell me how many vowels and how many consonants are present in this word. Are you ready? Okay. The word okay. is hippopotamus. <laughs> Titi Laya, okay, your time is counting down. How many vowels do you have? Hippopotamus. Quickly, quickly. Okay. Um, How many vowels? Seven, seven consonants. Seven consonants. How many vowels? Very quickly. Five vowels. Yay. Titi, Titi, you used to use slate, Abi. Oh, the love for slate, love alo. You are using slate in school, Abi. Yeah. Ever. Don't worry, I use slate too. So don't be feeling bad. I'm a real sister right here. All right, Titi, okay. Laya, please give me the last three digits of your phone number very quickly. Four nine one. Four nine one. I'm going to need you to stay on the line for exactly two seconds. So I can get down that number and there's no mix-up, okay? So just okay. keep talking me through it and tell me what's going on with your day. All right. So how is your hobby? Fine. All right, Titi Layo, it looks like I've got your number. Thank you so much. Enjoy your afternoon, okay? Uh, you too, thank you. You're absolutely welcome. Hello? 
Hello. 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 Good afternoon. Hi. Good afternoon. What's your name and where are you calling us from? Sorry, we didn't quite get that. What's your name? Deji. Deji. Hi. Sorry. Hi, Deji. Are you a first time caller? No. Oh, Deji. I was feeling fatal all of a sudden. Ah, well. Deji, talk to me. <laughs> this is my second time on the show. This right your... All right. Nice one, Deji. So, should a man spend 80% of his income on his woman? His wife, not his woman. You know, there's a difference between wife, day. There's a difference between, in fact, ne- on Monday, y'all are going to tell me the difference between wife, bae, <laughs> boo, <laughs> and your mistress. Apparently, everything gets great. But right now, can a man spend 80% of his income on his wife? Well, actually, you truly love your wife, so it's uh, not a problem on that. Hmm, so there's no expense that you can spare. Spare no expense, right? All right, I like that. What game would you like to play this afternoon? Yeah, I would like to play um, question game. The question game. Ah, y'all have been beating me at the question game. You're getting better and better by the day. I'm afraid. Should I be afraid? No, no, no. There is nothing you can afraid of. Okay. All right. Nice one. So, how many picking mommy born? Why do you want to know? Have you been your half sister now? You know, sister, we resemble. You don't think you can be my half sister? I can be your half sister. It's very possible. Daddy was a Rolling Stone. Was Daddy a Rolling Stone? You think my daddy is a Rolling Stone? Well, if you sound the way you do, Daddy may just have been a Rolling Stone. What's your favorite food? Do you think I can tell you my favorite food? Oh, one of the rules of the game is that you can't repeat the same question back to back. Okay, I'm going to start you up again. I'm going to start you up again from scratch. Please don't repeat the question back to back, all right? All right. All right, then. What's going to be your name? Why do you want to know my name? Because I want to be your friend. My name is M Spice. What's your name? You don't think you can be my friend? I can be your friend. I have plenty money. You get plenty money. You think I have money? Oh, you did it again. You did it again. You repeated the same question back to back. Do you think? Do you think? <laughs> All right, um, I'm going to give you one different game, a totally different game. If you can't get that one, then you're going to have to call me back, all right? All right, no problem. All right, Deji, my next game for you is called Olodo. <laughs> okay. All right, in exactly 10 seconds, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is a question I have asked several times on the show. In exactly 10 seconds, I want you to name eight places in Ibadan. That start, okay, not eight, eight is many. But in exactly 10 seconds, I want you to name six places in Ibadan that start with E D I D I. Oh, yeah, let's go. Your time starts now. Okay. One, Idi Roko. Two, uh, three, uh, Idi you have Roko. six seconds. You already said Idi Roko. Five seconds. Idi Four. Uh, uh, it's your row five. You have three seconds. Yeah. Ah. Oh my God. You said he did. Ah, I went to an Amala. I said he did. I said he did. I said he did. The last one. Don't worry. I'm ringing my bell for you. Whenever you cannot remember all those things, just start calling. Ah, sugar, sugar cane, baby, yamana. Ah, yes, it will come to you. I'm telling you. Okay. <laughs> all right, JG. Please hold on the line. Let me see if I can get that number down. I don't want to mix any numbers. You just keep telling me how your day has been so far. So good, okay? You're all right. Well, I'm fine. My day was so good. Thank God. So, what did you do differently today? Actually, I just wake up, pray, then I go to one of my friends because actually I have a fraction of my left, so Ooh. I was just trying. Sorry about that, Deji. Make sure you get well soon. I've gotten that number down. Thank you so much, Deji. Wow, I'm already stand up. I thank God. Ah, to God be all the glory. Please get as much rest as you can during the holidays, okay? All right. All right, then. Thank you so much. Enjoy your afternoon. Big shout out very quickly to all the people at Orientation Camp. Yes, if this is your first time on the Orientation Camp, it's very different. If you're very far away from home, I'd say don't be scared. Make sure you enjoy the experience. 
you know, orientation camp for some people is terrifying, for others, not so much. But from everyone here at Fresh 105.9 FM, big shout out to each and every one of you. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. What's your name? Where are you calling us from? Yeah, my name is Ami Dumbo. Ami, could you say your name again? Hamid, Hamid Humble. Hamid Humble, Hamid Humble. This is your first time calling me on the mid, on the lunch hour show. Yeah. Yay! Hamid Humble, how are you doing today? I'm okay, are you? I'm very well, thank you. You know that you're officially my last born right now. You know this, right? Yeah. You know that I can spoil very much. You just tell me what you want to eat this afternoon. Ice cream, you just tell me what you need. I got you. Mm? Is that oh. okay? Really? No, not really. Of course, I'm kidding. How, what do you think I have, the jazzy? <laughs> uh, find that I'm a uh, musician. All right, all right. We'll think about it. We'll see how we can work it out. Ahmed, tell me. Can you pound? Can I pound yam? Of course, I can pound yam. My mother raised me well. I'm a domestic girl. Mm? Yeah, I need to know that. And what can I say? I'm a superwoman in the making. We're a triple threat. You know, hardworking, still humble. You know, although they say it's not good, you can't actually determine if you're humble or not. So strike yeah. out that humility. But I'm hardworking, God-fearing, and of course, a strong businesswoman. What can I say? We're looking forward to the rest of the package. God will see us through. It's a journey yeah. every day. Okay? Yeah. All right, Ahmed, tell me, should a man spend 80% of his income on his wife? There's nothing wrong in it. Hmm. And of course, you're truly in love with your wife. Okay, there's nothing wrong with it. So you would spare, you would, you can't spare any expense when it comes to your woman, right? Yeah, in as much you are truly in love with your wife, then you can spend it. Okay, that's wonderful. That's actually very well said. I gotta ring my bell to that. So, Ami, tell me, what game do you want to play this afternoon? I'm not conversant with any of the game, but I heard you use. Something about or something like that. Yes, yes. I have a game called Olodo. Olodo, you want to try Olodo? Yeah. All right. Olodo is a game I'm going to give you now. It's an easy one. Let me see. What can I ask you? Okay. I'll meet in exactly 10 seconds. Remember, we're running with time. In exactly uh -huh. 10 seconds, I want you to name 10 places in Ibadan that starts with the letter A. E? Yes, your time starts now. Ah. Ah. Okay, I'll let you know. Yeah? I don't know. All right, Damien, I'm going to give you another question very quickly. Um, Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What else can I ask you? Okay. Um, Olodo. Olodo is always very, very interesting because I could ask you any random why, geographical why question. Okay, that game is called Fix It. All right. All right, Amit, do you have a pen and paper with you? No, I pray that the one that you will mention, you give me alphabet and I will give you towns, country, or... Oh, language. that's Blitz. That's called Blitz. Well, Blitz it is. The game Blitz is very simple. I'm going to give you any random letter in the alphabet. And within exactly seven seconds, you have to tell me the name of a person, the name of a place, the name of an animal, the name of a car, and the name of a thing. Can you do that? All right, Ahmed. Let's see. Your letter is letter, letter, letter D. D? Yes, letter D for dog. Country Denmark. Okay. Animal donkey. Donkey, let's go. Name. What's the name of a person? Country Denmark. Okay. Car. Dazun. Car Dazun. Yes, you're right. Yeah. What else do you have? You have a thing. You haven't given me a thing. Country mm. Denmark. Person. You haven't given me the name of a person. A D. Yes, with a D. The name of a person, there's David, Daniel, Dotu. Okay, okay. All right, I'm going to give you another letter very quickly, and I want you to try it a second time. Don't forget, person, place, animal, car, and thing. Can you remember that? All right, there. All right, your letter is letter S. F. S, S for soccer. 
Sugar. Yes, that's your letter. Yeah, right, let's go. Sudan. Sudan one. Sudan. S- Sudan. That's also a place. I mean, Sudan, Sudan. Yes, yeah, Sudan, Sudan. I can hear you. Carry on, animal. Animal. I don't know. Animal snake. You got animal oh snake. God. Snake. Oh my God. <laughs> animal All snake right. cast the choir. All right, Ahmed, you're going to have to call me back, okay? Thank you so much for All giving right, it no a problem. shot. It's my Thanks. pleasure having you call the show. Thank Amen. you so much. Keep it locked on Fresh 105.9 FM. You bad dog. Bye. Skibo. Robo skibo, robo skibo, yeba oche. Bares kilo de na only you are kaka. Kilo de what you call suit, but you wear a caracol. Kilo de kilo de na only you are kaka. Kilo de what you call suit, but you wear a caracol. But you wear a caracol. Bonje resi, bonje siki. Fresh 105.9 FM. Your feel good radio is just a dial away. Eric Air now connects you to even more places in Africa with three weekly flights from Lagos and Port Harcourt to Libreville. Departure from Lagos and Port Harcourt are on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Departure from Liverpool are Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Mondays. Flight commences February 12th, and you can buy your tickets on www.aricair.com, any Aric airport, or city ticket offices nationwide, or visit your travel agent. Aric Air, West and Central Africa's leading airline. Fresh 105.9 FM Ibadan, in conjunction with Best Tech Edu Consult Ibadan, invites education executives to participate in an educator's professional development EPD seminar titled Effective and Productive Approaches for Enhanced Learning. Featured seminar content include Advanced Management Skills for Educators by Solomon Adio from the United States of America, CBT and Today's Education by Mr. Ni Adeboyejo, CEO and MD, Speckless Innovative Lagos. Understanding the Nigerian Educational Standard and Structure by Kule Eluyemi Ibadon. Modern Approaches for Enhanced Learning by Adedamola Adedokun, host Education Today on Fresh FM. This Turning Point High Impact Seminar is carefully packaged for education stakeholders like school proprietors and proprietresses, curriculum developers, education policy makers, education resource center, and so on. School administrators, school managers, school heads, and principals. Seminar fee, 6600 per participant. Seminar fee covers tea break, meal, and seminar materials. Venue, Music House, Challenge Ibadon. Date, Saturday, 30th April, 2016. Time, 10 a.m. prompt. This event is proudly subsidized and sponsored by Fresh FM Ibadon, State Amis, NAPS, Best Imprint, Razmed Publications Limited, International College of Aerodynamics, Lagos, Speckless Innovatives, Lagos. To register, please call Adida Mola on 0703-752-8764 or Wale on 0701-5945-104. Attend and learn educational approaches the 21st century way. <laughs> I 
2.35 on the clock. Welcome back to the Lunch Hour Show. It's your girl M Spy still on the MIC. It is your favorite Fresh 105.9 FM. If you're just tuning in for the first time, this needs to become your best radio station because we are disturbing the city. As you can already tell, we're here to make your lunchtime fun time. Not only that, our programs run all the way from 5 a.m. to 1 a.m. in the morning. We've got you on lockdown. We keep you fresh all day. You know, it's not beans. We keep you fresh all day, every day. My question of the day today, very, very simple one. Looking for some honest answers, you know, from the ladies and from the men. I want to know, should a man spend 80% of his income on his wife? Does that tell you he loves you more? Does that say he's a devoted husband? Things and things like that. What do you think? Do you think it's wise? Do you think it's sustainable? You know, if a man continues to spend 80% of his income from the first year, second year, third year, fourth year, <laughs> is it actually sustainable? What do you think? Are they going to be happy for all the days of their lives? That kind of thing. So hit me up. A man spending 80% of his income on his wife, do you agree or disagree? The phone lines to call 80 3232 Don't forget, I've got games just for you to play. Hello? Hello, good afternoon. What's your name and where you calling us from? I'm John Lodju. You're Jomi Lodju. Hi, Jomi Lodju. Are you a first-time caller? No, no, no. All right, Jomi Lodju. What do you think about our question of the day? I kind of need you to speak up just a little bit. We can hardly hear you. It depends on the way they are. Maybe it depends on the mood they have for each other. Hmm, what kind of mood? Please explain. What mood could they possibly be in? Oh, if the lady is working, then you can... Oh, Jomiloju is not clear at all. The line is not very clear at all. Though. Hello, hello. Yeah, I'm that's, hearing you. That's so much better now. Hello. It's better. It's hello. a lot better. I can hear you, Jomiloju. Can you hear me? I said, if the lady is working, she will be more... It will be... It should be sustainable. Yes. All right, then. That works for me. I'll have to take that this afternoon. Tell me, what game do you want to play this afternoon? I have many, many games. Many, many games. I have Place It. I have Countdown. Yeah, okay, I have Place It. Place It. You want place. to play Place It. Okay, very yes. quickly. I need you in seven seconds to tell me the continent, capital, currency, language, and denonym of Spain. Spain, 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 Espanol. Uh, Spain Madrid, the capital, and they speak Spanish. Okay. They spend the cheta. They spend what? And they, are, they spend the cheta. They spend what? They spend the cheta, and their um, their continent is Europe. Okay, but they. <laughs> what what are the people called? They are called um Spanish. Yes, they are called Spanish. They are found. Uh, let's see. Let's see how. Let's see how correct you are. What do they spend? What do they spend? Is what I'm not absolutely sure about. What you just? I do believe they spend euro. They spend the support. Hmm, that's strange. Well, I'm going to give you another country very quickly. I'm going to give you France. Because I'm trying to France. confirm what you just said to me, yes? France are Paris and they speak French. All right, they speak French. They what are the people called? France. What are the yes. people called? What are the people called? They are called Francis. No, they're not called Francis. They're called French. They're French. Co- um, yeah, sorry, sorry. Um. They're called the French. All right, um, I'm going to have to give that one to you just because it's the last show for the week. Even though it wasn't a- absolutely accurate, I'm going to let it slide, okay? So tell me, Jomi Loji, what are the last three digits of your phone number? Very quickly. That's 106. 106. All right, Jomi Loji, you want to stay on the line for exactly 10 seconds so I can get your number, okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, I've gotten that number. Thank you so much. Enjoy your afternoon, okay? 
I'm going to hit the yeah. phone lines and see who I have next on the line. Hello? All right, don't hit me up on the phone lines. I'm here to take all those calls, as many as possible. Don't forget to tell me what's going on with you. And it's almost time for me to give you gist from the backyard. Today's gist is hot. It's smoking hot. I'm eager to talk about it. But I'm going to wait till the appropriate time. Hello? Hello? All right, kindly turn down the volume on your radio. Okay. Yes. Hello? Good afternoon. What's your name and where are you calling us from? David. Hi, from David. Uruguay. How are you, David? Fine. All right, David. You called me earlier on, right? Yes. Okay, yes, David. So what do you think? What do you think? Should a man spend 80% of his income on his girlfriend or his wife? It depends on the... If the man is very rich. Oh, this is a new way of looking at it. It depends on if the man is very rich, huh? That's different. So if he's not very rich, then he shouldn't spend 80% of his income on, uh, on his wife. Is that so? Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. I'm listening to you. Carry on. And I'm that no I need. There's and no I'm need. Play you want to play yes. countdown? All right, we're going to play countdown, but we're going to play very fast. You know you're very good at this game, okay, David? So you're going to do me a favor and we're going to play this game very very fast. Okay? Yes. Are you ready? Hope you have your pen and paper handy. Yes. All right, the word you're going to spell backwards for me in exactly seven seconds. I'll give you 10 seconds because it's David. In exactly 10 seconds, spell backwards satisfaction. Said, satisfaction. Let's go. Your time starts now. Satisfaction. N O I T A N O I T A T A no, 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 no. Take it one last time. Satisfaction. Come on, take it one last time. M M O I T T A S S I T A S. Yay! Go, David. David is very good at these things. But I know that trick y'all pull when you ask me to repeat the word, you're just quickly writing it down. You know that me have been small too. And you know this one more day, yo, mama boy say Lonny Bolo. I know it's going down. Eh, <laughs> David. <laughs> all right, David, I need you to stay on the line for me. Let me take that number down, all right? I'm doing my best to get as many numbers as possible so that we don't have anybody missing those numbers. All right? What are the last three digits of your phone number? Five, five, five. Five, five, five. All right, David, I've got you. Thank you so much. Enjoy your afternoon. Yes, yeah, so it's been an amazing day. And of course, the time is officially 2.44 on the clock, which means right now I'm going to play you an amazing song. When I come back, it's time for our Just From The Backyard segment. In the meantime, enjoy this one from Adekunle Gold. He's telling you that he's ready.
Missy Party, we maro motoda, bomba consolo, boyfriend di buy a two, only go walk and down, no the dress pass you. Come on, go there, come on, love. There's a man for every woman, a woman for every man. If you're not sure, I'm sure that I'm sure. If you want it, then you are fool. Welcome back to the Lunch Hour Show on Fresh 105.9 FM. My name is M Spice. Yes, this is our Gist from the Backyard segment. It's that quiet corner where we get to go behind the house and talk about what's been making rounds, what's trending, what everyone is talking about. Well, this morning, I would say about 7 a.m. on my social media, I saw so many notifications. Everybody was talking about one particular topic and, of course, one very, very popular female Nigerian artist who goes by the name of Tiwa Savage. Yes, you must have gotten air about that gist by now. If you haven't heard about it, a lot of talk this morning. I was woken up to the gist that Tiwa Savage's marriage was on the rocks because T-Bills, her husband, T-Bills, went up on social media and started posting all kinds of cryptic messages. He started the messages by posting that she was insecure when he met her. She was not so pretty when he met her and she didn't really have much going for her. He went on to say that her mother is a witch. He also went on to say that they have casted all kinds of aspersions upon him and his destiny and Tiwa, you know that thing? Oh, somebody needs to teach me these things in Yoruba. They say ICQ or is it ICQ or ICQ something, ICQ, ICQ, ICQ. <laughs> they say Tiwa Savage is using his ICQ, that is his luck. Please tell me if I'm calling it wrong. To all the Yoruba people out there, you need to spell it for me so I don't go and sound very wrong. Anyway, T-Bills went on a rant today and he was ranting for a good five hours. He went ahead to say that Tiwa Savage might have jumped in the sack with Don Jazzy, Two-Face, Dr. Sid, amongst others. The baby, his, his wife, the mother of his child. He went on to say that she uses jazz she hasn't cooked for him in three years and that even when they go to Omaomi's house with the husband that Omaomi cooks for them. He also went on to say that Annie Edibia, Two-Face's wife, brings food over for him where his wife cannot bring food over. He said, yes, he made her career and now that she's all famous, she doesn't have his time. Let us not forget, somewhere along the line, people kept speculating that T-Bill's account might have been hacked but here's what we were thinking 
The information he was dishing out was just too hot to handle. No hacker would have that kind of sensitive information. He was giving names, he was giving dates, he was apologizing, he was even calling his own son Jam Jam. You know, his son is Jamil. And I don't think a hacker is going to know the name, the pet name you call your kid. Okay, so he bamboozles her career. He says she can't handle the fame. All she cares about is her hair. These are the things that are by the way. He went on to say their marriage is over. He's had enough. He's been living in depression. Then he took it up a notch. He took it up a notch by posting suicide messages, suggesting that he was ready to take his own life. Imagine this, and he kept on saying Tiwa Savage is the cause of his problems, and when he met her, things were going good, now things aren't so good. Wow, wow, the rant was heavy. The rant was loaded, and we were all dishing it up like Gary Epa, sugar and ice water. God, everybody was gummed to their phones waiting for the next hot piece of evidence, and he was just dishing it out to us. He said her mother has turned dad into, oh my goodness, the talk was terrible. The talk was absolutely terrible. And we were now waiting for um, somebody to come out and put an end to it. People like Banky W, Banky W went online to apologize and say, hey, guy, you need to calm down. Don't dish your dirty laundry out in the public. He went on and on. Sauce Kid and a couple of other, act, um, other musicians were begging him publicly on social media and saying, guy you need to calm down every marriage has issues but don't dish out your private you know personal laundry like this for social media it's awful t-bills was not listening t-bills was just firing taking shots you know that thing you do when you stay up all night and you've carefully planned out something i feel ah yes today is the day ah today was the day for tiwa savage in all this tiwa savage said nothing Absolutely nothing. No comments, nothing. T Bills was just firing. Bra, 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 bra. Anyway, at exactly 12 noon, as we had all speculated, a tweet finally came out from a new account. And he goes, Oh, hi, what's up? I'm T Bills. My account was hacked today. And all those comments that I said, you know, calling my mother in law a witch, calling my wife a hitch, you know, you know, you can remove the H and put anything else in place of it. All those were not me. That was my spirit man. In fact, it was a hacker. It was a hacker. I'm not the one. <laughs> if you followed that trend this morning, do you honestly believe that his account was hacked? Here's what I think. I don't think his account was <laughs> hacked. I think what he's doing right now is what you call damage control. Damage control is terrible. We even had people for the whole of this morning, that story was trending. It's never easy when you're a celebrity, you're always in public eye and nobody wants to revel. Except, of course, bloggers. <laughs> bloggers love to revel in people's chaos, but I don't think anybody should poke their business in your family affairs. When it comes to men spending 80% of their income on their wives, I think there's no amount too much for you to spend on your woman because I think if you treat your woman good, she'll pray for you and more doors will open up onto you. So for the men out there, don't be looking at your income. Don't be looking at what you're earning right now. Even if you've got 1K, be willing to spend and share your 1K with your woman. Trust me, when you're not looking, she'll be praying for you. And then more money is going to come in. It's been an amazing show, guys. But you know how I do it. Without you, it's never complete. Thank you so much for all the calls. Everybody who tuned in, even if you didn't get to call, you were driving, but you were listening and laughing. Hope you had an amazing show. We do this every Monday to Thursday, 1.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. Big shout out to every one of you. I want you to have an amazing weekend and, of course, an amazing May Day. I'm going to round off the show with the song of the day, but not before I pay some amazing bills. My song of the day today is one from LA Flexi. It's a song you know and love very much. This one is called Angelina. Don't forget my name. My name is MSPYCEM Spice. Feel free to shout it anywhere you see me. I'll definitely answer and smile back. But don't go anywhere. The Pigeon News is up at 3 p.m. And of course, the Midday Cafe continues. Next time you hear my voice, it's going to be 3.55. Handing over to your captain on the roadshow. Enjoy your afternoon and stick around.
Hello, Mr. Bajji.